This revelation is on issue faced by Sri Lankan expatriate workers who are one of the key sources that supply dollars to run the country's economy. Several women who claim that they were forcefully taken to Oman against their consent contacted News First on Tuesday. These women claim that they were taken to United Arab Emirates with the promise of employment in the UAE and on Tuesday morning they were forcefully taken to Oman. Sri Lanka's Criminal Investigations Department had already visited Oman to investigate human trafficking rackets involving Sri Lankan women being taken away to Oman on tourist visa and then auctioned off for sex. The group that contacted News First revealed that they were also taken to UAE on tourist visa. They say that they were informed on being taken to Oman after they entered the UAE territory. <laughs> News First tried to contact these women as soon as we received these messages, but it was later revealed that this group had already been taken to Oman via an Air Arabia flight around 9.10 in the morning local time there. This flight reached Muscat, which is the capital of Oman, around 10.15 local time. And while this group was being taken from the airport to their workplace, they contacted News First once again. This was via a mobile device that was taken there secretly. It was revealed that they were given a 30-day tourist visa to enter Oman. The Criminal Investigations Department said it was in possession of the information and it immediately contacted the foreign missions in Abu Dhabi and other countries and also delivered the necessary documentation to the airports. According to Sri Lanka police, Lankans and Oman nationals are serving as brokers in this record. The Sri Lankan Bureau of Foreign Employment told News First that necessary action will be taken once the CID investigation report is made available. In this backdrop, the Bureau of Foreign Employment suspended issuing tourist visa to Oman on the 11th of November 2022. The spokesperson of the Sri Lankan Embassy in Oman said that several women who were victims of this racket are currently residing in a safe house in Oman along with 90 other Sri Lankans there.